Don't get stuck on your website. Get one and move forward and make it quick. I want to change lives. I want to show people how to progress in their money. I want to show people how to progress in their mindset. I want to show people how to progress in their brand so that way they can take care of their family, take care of their finances, and experience freedom. Listen to this parable. There's a man who wants to start his mask business, and it is now 2022, and he's ready to start his mask business. And one of the questions that you may ask is, where was he during the pandemic? Like, at, like 2020, 2021, where was he at during the pandemic? He was setting up his website and choosing his logo. What are your thoughts about this? What are your thoughts about that? Here, let me share something with you. I want you to write this down. Do not major in the minors. Now, when I talk about majoring, I'm talking about recognizing, like, like putting something of, of super importance. Uh, I was talking to talking to someone who um, I know pretty well, and he said, hey, man, um, I want to start a business. And I've known him for years. He said, hey, man, I want to start a business. However, when I want to start this business, I want to, like, you know, set up my logo, set up my website. And I'm like, what's your product? And he's like, ah, I'm not really too sure. I, I was kind of thinking that, like, I, I, my first thing would, my first step of the process would be to uh, set up my logo and get my website. And, you know, like, I understand that when you look at businesses online, when you look at businesses, especially online, the first thing that you're going to go look at is their website. Do you want to see if their website makes a lot of sense? Um, if you can get uh, information about their product on their website. But the problem, the challenge is that a business is an entity that sells a product or a service to generate a profit. So, and that's the key here. It's a product, they're selling the sale of a product or a service. So you can have a logo on a website for something that does not make any money. The same way you can have a logo on a website for something that does make money. But what's more important, the logo on the website or the product and the service that you're selling and, and the actual sales of that product and service? Of course, it's going to be the sales of that product and service. So what I want you to look at is when you're deciding to start a business, you have to focus on literally one thing and one thing only in the start of that business is a sales and, and, and uh, sales of that product. Now, in order to sell a product, you have to market. So, you know, I, I host an event called the Progression Conference. It's a yearly event where I bring in entrepreneurs and a buddy of mine who in 2020, he had $0. In March of 2020, he had $0 to his name and no revenue. Um, and then within like 18 months, did three and a half million dollars. And so I had him coming on, to, on one of my stages and, and he spoke it to my audience. And I said to him, uh, what's more, what's more, and what's more important? And we came to the agreement that marketing is senior to sales. It's more important to sales. Is is it's it's more important than sales? Why? Because it's it's like it's like more swings at bat. And what I mean by that is when you have when you're marketing, it gives you the opportunity to generate leads. That's the objective of marketing: to generate stimulate interest, to generate leads to turn into a, a actual customer, and then the sales is the conversion of that lead to a customer. So you have these two elements here, marketing and sales. Marketing, the goal is to get uh, leads. That's the goal of marketing, is to get leads, to stimulate. You know, I, I'm driving right now, right? So I just left the gym, it's about 6, 6.40 in the morning, right? So as, as I'm driving and you see all of these cars here, you see all of these cars here, you see all of these restaurants and, you know, all these people here and, and so forth, there, what, there's so many people, right? It's a, there's, a, there's a lot of people. And how can you identify if that person is my cu customer? I'm going through this park, this, this like parking lot. How can I identify if that person is my customer that's walking across the street? All these people that's in these cars, all of these people that's at the gas station right now. How can I, how can I identify if they're my customer or not? What's the strategy to identify that? If there's a hundred, if there's uh, 30 people in this bus right here. How can I identify which one is my customer that's going to give me money and that most importantly that I can serve them in their life and, and, and support them? How can I identify that? Well, that's what marketing is. So marketing is attracting those individuals and creating a campaign to convert them from a stranger to a lead. Now, sales is the conversion of that lead into a customer. So a lead is just a name, email, and phone number. So 
turning that lead into a customer. So how can I get, you know, let's say this person who's driving, I'm just using common sense here, this person who's driving, you know, how can I get their name, email, and phone number? And then that's the marketing element. And then the sales element is that how can I get this person's name? How can I get now this lead, this person's contact into an actual customer who's paying me for my service and or, or my product? So what's more important here, getting a website or marketing sales? Now, I know many of you are going to say, hey, but isn't getting a website marketing? Isn't that what marketing is? Well, to a degree, to a degree. And unless you have a clear and concise game plan of how you're going to use a website, like, for example, if you go to andyadi.com, on the page, it's asking you for your name, email, and phone number. So as soon as you feel if you're like, hey, I want to learn more information about Andy. In my campaign, it's straight up asking you, what's your name, email, phone number? So that way I can get in contact with you and stay in contact with you uh, over time. That's going to be an example of marketing. So that's how you use a, that's how you use a website to market. Now, if you remember earlier in this video, what I shared with you is like, don't major in the minors. Now, let me talk to you about what, what that means. Don't major in the minors. When I created, um, when I created my website or my landing pages or my marketing funnels, um, it's under one goal, which is to get leads. That's, that's the only reason that is there is to get leads. Number two, number two is the time frame to push out the website is quick and is swift. I want you to write this down. Speed to market, speed to market. Now, what I mean by that is in that example earlier in the, in this video, when I share with you, there's a guy who wants to start his mask business. And he said he's ready, you know, he's ready now, but where was he during the pandemic? He was choosing his logo and his web website. Now he's ready two years later after the pandemic. Now, who's going to make the most money? The guy who started in the pandemic, like, like March of 2020 is when I, you know, experienced the, the pandemic. I, I was living in Los Angeles at the time. And March of 2020 is when I, I experienced a pandemic, right? Los Angeles was like shutting down. Um, everybody's going nuts. You know, there's people are going, people are going nuts um, with the, with the, with the pandemic and people are, are, are frantic. So everyone's trying to protect themselves. So they're, you know, putting themselves in a bubble, but what I'm sharing with you is a lot of them were getting masked. A lot of people were getting masked. And in March of 2020, like if you had a mask business, man, it was booming. I saw people on the side of the road making thousands of dollars just selling masks. I remember when I was first uh, introduced to wearing a mask, I had to, I, I, in the in the middle of the pandemic, I walked into um, into a Chipotle. You know, I didn't know the severity of it. I walked into a Chipotle. And the Chipotle was like, hey, you're required to wear a mask. And I was like, why? I don't understand. I didn't, I didn't know this. You know, but I see a lot of people around me wearing masks. But, you know, I'm not really a follower. So I was just like, OK, a bunch of people are wearing masks. But I'm not really too sure if I need to. But so because I haven't been told, I haven't been communicated that, I'm not going to. But then I walked into Chipotle. Chipotle was like, hey, you have to wear a mask in order to buy food here. So I went to this, I literally, I think it was like the side of the street. There was a, there was like a, a vendor who had a bunch of masks, newly masked, packaged up, making thousands of dollars. Now, someone in that same time is seeing people make all that money and they're thinking that they're going to get the same amount of money or get, they're going to get the same amount of opportunity as the person on the side of the street making thousands of dollars. But he took too long. And that's the point that I'm trying to make. He took too long. So that's why I share with you speed to the market, speed to marketplace. So there are people, if you're one of them, where should I get my logo? You know, should I get my website? Should I get my logo? Should I get my website? Here's the answer to that. Unless the, the, the don't, don't get stuck. I think the website is going to be valuable. I think the website is going to be valuable. I think marketing funnels is going to be more valuable than a website. A marketing funnel is a series of web pages that leads customers to, through the sales process. That's more valuable because essentially when you're selling your product, when you're selling your product, let's say over the phone or in person, you're making an offer, right? You're making an offer. So when you get on a phone call with someone and you're selling your product or your service, so let's just say your product's $1,000 and you're selling your product or your service and 
uh, from selling your product or service, you're like, hey, you know what? My offer to you is $1,000 for you to buy this product. And your lead, your customer, your potential customer has the uh, opportunity to make a decision to buy, yes or no. They have the opportunity to make a decision. And when they make, and, and in that decision making is where you have a 50-50 shot of you getting paid. You have a 50-50 shot. 50% that they'll say yes to your $1,000 offer and 50% that they'll say no to your $1,000 offer. So if you remember earlier in this video, I said you have more swings, swing at bats. Who has the, who has the, most opportunity to make to make a thousand dollars the person that asks for to one person hey will you pay me a thousand bucks or the person that has a hundred people considering their offer at a thousand bucks who has the highest probability of making a thousand bucks of course the person that the person that asks a hundred people the person that asks a hundred people have the opportunity more of an opportunity to make a thousand bucks so a marketing funnel is just is just that. It's like a web, multiple web pages, that allows you to make an offer to uh, multiple people, more people than you could possibly can. And on one of those web pages, you'll have a video on there, and the video is going to be a um, just you saying, "Hey, my product is a thousand bucks. This is what you get for a thousand bucks. This is why I, I'm pulling up to my uh, to my uh, my stretch. I, I do in the morning after I leave the gym." I, I go to a, a stretch coach and they stretch me out and they stretch bodies and they support me like they have these bands and, and and massage chairs and so forth. So it's all part of my my morning routine. But who has the most opportunities? It's going to be the person who it's going to be the person who can get in front of more people and make as many offers as possible. So here's going to be the action steps for you. If you listen to this, don't get stuck on your website. Get one and move forward and make it quick, okay? Don't get one, Make move forward, make it quick. Don't get caught up on the logos on, man, maybe this, you know, we should change the logo to this side, you know, change the logo to this side. You know, I remember um, we used to do logos in my company. We used to do logos for our clients and our, and our company as a, as a service that you could purchase. <laughs> and I remember this one organization that, um, had us like draw out the world, the, the, the world. And they had us make Africa into a heart when, when we looked at the world, right. They, they had us make Africa into a heart. So we made Africa into a heart. And then they were like, Hey, you know, this heart, maybe we should put it at this angle. We spent like, I don't know, two months on this logo. Right. And I remember at the end of the experience, the person said to me, Hey, I need to, I need to focus on making money now. I said, where were you at two months ago? Why, why, why wasn't that your focus? Why do you wait till the end to make money, to focus on making money and not focus on the beginning? And the reason why was because she was like, hey, I was so busy. I was caught up on the logo. I was caught up on, you know, I spent a lot of time making sure that the, I'm talking about hours per day on the logo, on the website design, on which image goes here versus which image goes there. Don't get caught up in the minors. Don't get caught up in the in the minor details because that's what that's not what makes a, a huge impact financially. That's not what's going to make a huge impact for you financially. What's going to make a huge impact for you financially is that you get in front of more people. So the first thing that you're going to need to get in front of more people is going to be that marketing funnel. Now, let me show you the difference between a website and a marketing funnel. The website gives a lot of information out. You know, you can ask for the name and email phone number, but it gives a lot of information. That's what the website does. Now, a marketing funnel is typically as simple as three pages, three pages back to back. The first page is going to be a web page that communicates um, a, a something of value, and that value is hidden on the next page. And to get access to it, you have to give me your name, email, and phone number to get access to it, right? So let's say, for example, in the past, I, I used to do speaker training videos. And when I do speaker training videos, I would say, hey, I'm going to give you a training on how you can generate $20,000. I've actually done that in a weekend, how you can generate $20,000 in a weekend. And so I, I give you that training, but to get access to that training, give me your name, email, phone number, and I'll send you, send you the email with the, with the access to the training. So that's page one, right? So it's like a, on page one, it might just be an image of like, hey, there's a video on hidden behind this. Give me your name, email, phone number to get access. But as soon as I, you know, you put your name, email, phone number, when your lead puts in the name, email, phone number, you get access to that data and you keep that information in a CRM. So that's why we use ProGreta 
to manage your database. So you, you get that name, email, phone number. The number two, the second page is gonna be the actual video. Now in the video, you're gonna do these four steps, value, 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 offer. So a value is that you're sharing a value proposition, typically three points of value. So value one, what is, you know, what is, if you're trying to teach someone, like for example, I was teaching someone how to, how to make $20,000 on, on, in a weekend. So I give the value that's necessary to understand how to make uh, $20,000 on a weekend. So the first point of value could be create a high ticket product. That could be the first point of value. And I'm educating people on how to create a high ticket product. The second point of value is once you have that high ticket product and you created that, then you got to package that high ticket product with a ton of value inside of that high ticket product. So that's the second form of value. Then the third form of value that I'm going to be sharing in that one video is going to be now that you have that high ticket product and you, it is now packaged and ready to be sold, now you need an audience. So I share another point of value of how you can get in front of an audience. So those three steps of value, then I say, hey, this is now, if you're wanting to build this out, you wanted to get this done, we actually either A, do it for you, or we educate you on how to do it. If you're ready to take action today, the offer to, to have this, you know, built for you is a thousand bucks if you want to get started today. And that's the offer. So the first page, I got the name, email, phone number. The second page, I gave them that three-step process, value, 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 and then offer. Now, uh, when someone takes advantage of the offer, then they go to the third page, which is a thank you page that just says, thank you so much for signing up. Now with Pro ProGreta, you can automate the emails and automate the text message that comes in uh, uh, or that gets sent to that person automatically via email. So I want you to think about that. In this example, I made an offer and I, I gave value. Who would, and in, in this example, it was a thousand dollars for that offer. Who has the biggest opportunity to make money who has the biggest opportunity to make money the person who's stuck on their logo stuck on their design stuck on their website looking at their you know looking at their logos and going back and forth and changing color schemes and changing hex colors and hex code and so forth and spending months on that or the person like in that example me in this example where i recorded a video and saying hey i'm giving you value but i'm also going to ask you for an offer if you want to take advantage of this and if I drove, if I got a hundred people to watch that video, let's just say throughout all my day, I got a hundred people to watch that video. Who would probably make the most money? If I got 10%, a small amount, 10%, 10 people time a thousand, that's $10,000. So in that, in that time of sending people to that webpage, I got 10, hundred people to watch it. 10 people actually took action and paid. That's a 10 grand that was made while my competitor was on their logo. So what I'm sharing with you, because I love you, is that to really recognize, don't waste time in the minors. Don't waste time in the, the minor details. Focus on making a big impact by taking big quantum leaps and actions in your business. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Take action pretty quickly. Now, over time, let's just say you don't like your logo. That's fine. Change it. I, I work, one of my clients is a $100 million company. And after two, three, after 19 years, they end up changing their logo. They end up changing their logo. They change their brand. If you look at the biggest companies now, like look at Nike, look at um, Apple, all of them change their logos. They change their website. So it's okay for you to progress. It's okay for you to adjust. It's okay for you to make changes. But recognize that take action pretty quickly. If you look at Apple's first logo, it's like, it's like garden. It's like a, you know, Adam and Eve or something in the garden or something like that. You know, so it's like it's like a it's like a photo with a lot of sketch compared to what it is today. You know, so what I'm sharing with you is take action fast. Make offers quick and don't wait. Don't hesitate. Move pretty swiftly. Thank you for your time today on this one. I'll see you on the next video.